I just need everybody to see this. When God gives you a real vision, if you don't feel vulnerable just a little bit, it might be invalid. God gives vision in the valley. I need everybody to hear me say this so clearly. God doesn't give vision on mountaintops. He gives vision in valleys. Do you know when God gave me representing God to the lost and found for transformation of Christ, nobody came to the church. I had people that told me God made the right decision with you being the pastor but the wrong decision for my family and walked out the church. I had, when God gave me that vision, Bishop, when God, when God was telling me that, we didn't know who was going to stay and who was going to go. We, everybody was unsure of what God was doing. There was no, nobody saw, we didn't have an, not one LED, nothing. Our cell phone lights wasn't LED, you hear me? There was nothing. And what that proves is that God never gives vision in the spotlight. God never gives vision on the mountaintop. God is going to give you vision in the valleys. And this should be good news for somebody right now. Because how you feeling and how 2020 left you feeling and what's been going on in your finances, this is the perfect time for you to shut everything down and get quiet with God and join us for the next 14 days of this prayer and fasting. And if you're watching this later, just take three or four days and allow God to speak to you because God's saying, I will give you vision in the valley. That's where God speaks because then it brings him glory because when he gave it to you when you were low, he can take credit for it when you're high. There's no way you got here by your will and your ideas and your connections. God said it had to be me. And I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but you feel in your lowest moment. Ugh. And you feel like your marriage is on the last leg and you feel like your kids will never be back together. And you feel like everything that you lost in the last bankruptcy has taken everything. And God's saying to you today, if you listen, I'll give you vision in the valley. I'll make what the enemy told you was a setback and I'll turn it into a setup. I'll take every test and I'll turn it into your testimony. You can be a miracle in motion if you would get vision in the valley. Do you know one of the things that happened, Bishop, when I got vision in the valley? Write this point down. Vision must be visible and vision must be vocal. I didn't just get the vision. I wrote it down and I said something. And some of us are so scared to say what God has said. Why? Why are you so scared that what God showed you would actually come to pass? I made a decision a long time ago. If God said it, I'll believe it. If I believe it, I'm going to say it. If I say it and it doesn't come to pass, I can point back to him. <laughs> what do I lose? Why, 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 why am I scared? If God said it, I'm going to believe it and I'm going to say it. And if it don't happen, I guess God wanted to do something different. I guess God had a different plan. I guess God is sovereign, but that don't stop me from believing. And what happens so many times, it's like God said it and it didn't happen. And I said it and I'm so embarrassed and I don't know if I can believe God again. And I don't know if he's going to do what he said he's going to do. And, I don't know. and I'm saying like, what? If it didn't happen how you thought it was, it was for your good. If it did not happen how you thought it was going to happen, it is still for your good. We praise him all the time for what he does. We don't praise him all the time for what he didn't do that we don't know what would have happened if he would allow it. Somebody needs to take five seconds right there and give God a praise for what you didn't know. No, 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 y'all acting too cute right now. But in the chat, I dare you to praise God for the things that he didn't allow to work out, that your feelings got hurt, but it was still for your good. I dare you to say it. 
I dare you to tell your husband where y'all will be next year. Yeah, bonus point. Vision always makes you vulnerable. When I stood up here and I said on the first day of us being a church in the transition that we will be a multi-ethnic, multi-generational, multiplying, multi-campus church, I was vulnerable because we were none of those things. It felt like I was standing up there bucket naked. Y'all know that bucket naked. <laughs> Just exposed. And let me help you. That's what true vision makes you feel like. Yes, yeah. Do you know how Noah must have felt to just tell his wife, I'm about to spend the next couple decades. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Now, I know what I said about vacation next summer, but I got a vision from God. Wow. And so I'm going to be spending... I, Honestly, I need the, our sons and their wives. Matter of fact, everybody, y'all birthed. I need everybody to help me. Because somebody's going to have to go rile up the animals. And then somebody's going to have to help me with this wood. And somebody's going to, like, do you, do you, imagine how vulnerable it must have been for Abraham to walk back to Sarah and say, um, hey, baby. No, here are your readers. Here, here you go. Um. No, no, no. Let me, let me get your catheter right. Okay, here you go, baby. Because um, she was old. She, she was dusty. Baby, hold on. Let me move your wheelchair. Okay, let me tell you what God told me. He gave me a vision, and he said, look up into the stars and number them if you can. That's how many descendants I'm going to give you. So I just came to tell you, um, I'm going to put it down, and you're going to get pregnant. Do you know, do you know how vulnerable it must have felt for, for, I just need everybody to see this. When God gives you a real vision, if you don't feel vulnerable just a little bit, it might be invalid. It, where your, where your marriage is, and I just keep coming back to this because I just feel like somebody's marriage is on the rocks right now. Where your marriage is, it would be for you to say, my marriage is going to succeed and I'm going to enjoy being in this home. Wow. To say that out of your mouth may have you feeling a little vulnerable. Some of y'all are going to be saying, my mother's, me and my mother's relationship is going to be healed. Wow. And we're going to like spending time together. That would be a vision that would make some of y'all vulnerable. We're not just talking about houses and cars. Forget that. That's stuff that comes and goes. But I'm talking about stuff that affects the soul, the mind, the will, the emotion. God's saying to us, it might be a little vulnerable, but I want you to be vocal about it. I dare you to say it. I dare you to believe me for it. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.